Hello everybody, Radimus2099 here, uh, with a, uh, video about, uh, my rev well, it's not, it, it says review in the thumbnail, uh, of Mandalorian. Honestly, uh, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, everything that I could say about this has already been said. My, some of my favorite directors coming together, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, John Favreau, Dave Filoni, um, Takai Watiti, all of them coming together and working hard on a nice, uh, <laughs> amazing story, and, uh, honestly, I loved it, um, yeah, good, they, they did great, and I'm the only person in my house who's seen it, oh, damn, son, um, <laughs> I've seen it twice, actually, because, well, you know, sometimes you just gotta, um, with all the cameos in it, with Bill Burr being in it, with, uh, Takai Waititi being in it, it as IG-11, with a lot of people just being in this mo in this series, really d gave it extra ground that it didn't need to have. Didn't need to have a a, a push from the big leagues of actors, um, but it did get a push. I mean, the main actor of the whole series got like five seconds of his face revealed. Anyway, you're probably here because of theories. Um, in the inevitable case that some of these might be right, of course, one is sort of based in reality, and the other one is kind of way out there, uh, in a galaxy far, far away. Um, <laughs> that was a kind of clever pun by me. I'm proud of that. Um, no, but, like, it's way out there. Way out there. Um, but, you know, every theory is kind of cemented in reality, so don't be surprised if this is true. Of course, I'm basing this off of common facts about uh, Season 2's casting. So Season 2, if you don't know, is going to have Ahsoka Tano. So I'm assuming that the way that she meets them is um, through a little thing I'd like to say. Uh, well, Mandalorian's got to find a place for Baby Yoda. You obviously can tell that it's possibly a force user i mean he did kind of save his life so i think it is fair if you do say that he knows that baby yoda is a force user um and let's assume that because of baby yoda that he has to find a place for him uh for him to possibly learn for him to teach baby yoda how to be a jedi and he probably will go to a jedi temple so I'm assuming that's where they're going, um, and they will meet Ahsoka Tano there, and Ahsoka will, um, try to teach him, but of course he is a baby right now, so maybe she'll have to wait, or, I don't know, I mean, if Baby Yoda's 50 years old, I mean, think about it, think about how long they have to wait until he's that old train in the force, <laughs> uh, but who knows, who knows, who knows, um, but I do really like the idea of that happening, of Ahsoka teaching baby, well, not teaching baby Yoda, but investing in him, because he is going to be a big part of this series and possibly future series. Um, but anyway, then later they find a Mandalorian hunting them. Who would it be? Who would it be? Well, if you've seen the Gunslinger episode, where... They go to Tatooine. There is a thing that crawls, that walks, and shackles. And it's like, <laughs> in the sand. And it comes up to uh, the corpse. I think she's, yeah, she's dead at that point. Of uh, the assassin. I forgot her name. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I loved her. I loved her. Um, so, so you're probably thinking, what would, what would he freaking do? Who is that? I'm thinking it's going to be. Boba Fett. Boba Fett back from life because, of course, we've all been waiting for the time when Boba Fett comes back to life. So, he's probably going to find uh, the rest of his people. I wouldn't find it too surprising if he meets the, um, I forgot her name, but the Forger. Maybe that's her name, Armor. Um, the girl who made Mandalorian's armor. Um, I would not be surprised if she met him and then he said, Where are the rest of the Mandalorians? And she went, most of them went fleeing, and he goes, is there any still alive? Um, and she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. A guy named uh, Din Dinjari, Dinjari, I can't say his first name. He's off uh, on another world, you know? He's off, he's off. 
um, and maybe points him in the direction of Je the Jedi Temple. At this point, I can assume that Moff Gideon is also trying to hunt down the Mandalorian because he wants Baby Yoda. But he has the Dark Star Saber, which, if you don't know, controls the Mandalorians technically from a religious aspect. That's why Darth Maul needed it in Clone Wars. He grabbed it and he went, Zzz, and he was like, this is, I lead you now. And yeah, he kind of took over Mandalore. And that is a uh, pretty, if I if I do say so myself, pretty badass. Um, of course, we see him rule, uh, rule the clones and rule this world that is now his. And honestly, I love if him, if he found, tried to find Baby Yoda and the Mandalorian and said, you have no right to try to kill me. I have the Dark Star Saber. And then who knows, maybe Boba Fett comes after him, tries to attack him, and possibly kills him. And maybe we could see Boba Fett, Ahsoka Tano, um, I'm assuming Cara Dune would come back at this point, and all of them try to defeat Moff Gideon, of course, this might not work out the best, but who knows. But I do want to say I have a theory about what's going to be going on with Cara Dune and, um, what's his name? <laughs> I forgot his name in the... Uh, series, but Carl Weathers, <laughs> I love Carl Weathers, so seeing him in the series really just made me go like, oh, that's Carl Weathers, Carl Weathers is a Mandalorian, I didn't think that he was a real character, um, <laughs> but I assume that him and Cara Dune will team up, sort of create a team, maybe they will try to rebuild IG-11, I'll come back to life, who knows, um, and we could even see them, uh, going across on their own kind of side adventure, trying to find, um, not the Mandalorian, but just trying to find, uh, some people that, who need their help. They could be sort of a heroes for hire situation, or bounty hunter situation, but more ethical. Um, because after all, Cara Dune is pretty freaking badass, and then Carl Weathers is just Carl Weathers, so. Um, I do see... A thing that might happen. This is something that I'm thinking I want to happen more than it might actually. There's no real proof for this. Um, I mean, we know Moff Gideon is going to go after them. They're not just going to introduce this really cool character and just be like, well, yeah, we'll put him to the side. <laughs> wait, that's exactly what they did with Snoke. Oh, wait, yeah, they just killed him off. <laughs> Never mind. We aren't going to talk about that right now. Um, <laughs> but, after all... Um, one of the best things that happened in this series was the nature of each episode kind of being different from each other, not having to follow a strict path like movies do. Um, they didn't have to be all, oh, they go from point A to point B to point C to point E, finally ending is E. Um, and I always say point E because... They skip a bunch of stuff that they could have done, which the Mandalorian didn't do. He met up with some old guys, fought around, you know, did some stuff. Who knows what he did? Um, and that could be pretty interesting for season two to happen. Um, but I feel that we might see some cameos from other Mandalorians coming back, such as the heavy Mandalorian. After all, he was a huge character, not only physically, but merchandise wise. I mean, there's a Star Wars Black Series figure, there's a bunch of stuff for him, and they wouldn't do that with such a small character. I mean, the Jawas who got figures, it's because they were in, like, every episode. They were in a lot of episodes. And they had a whole episode where they were making the Mandalorian do something, so I can see them making figures of those, which they did, which are some of my favorite figures. Honestly, people don't respect Jawas enough. They don't. Me and my friend Jeremy were talking about it today. People don't respect Jawas enough. That's another rant for another time. Um, but I think that we could see a return from him. Um, who knows, maybe he'll suit back up in his Mandalorian armor uh, just to help out the allies once again. And I think that there might be a whole Mandalorian return reunition uh, for the Dark Star Saber. And who knows, maybe Season 3 is either Din Din Jari or Boba Fett taking control and finally uh, ruling the Mandalorians. I could see that happening, and honestly, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. But I think in season three we will see something a lot more 
maybe of setting, or we will see this in season four. Of course, we don't know the period that this takes place in. We know it's after episode six, but we don't know when it is. I think we could see the fall of the uh, Republic and maybe the control of the First Order. That might happen way, 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 way later. Because, of course, we don't know what time this is. We haven't seen any other characters. If we saw Han Solo or something, and we could tell what time period it was in from him. It, we know it's before Force Awakens, Force Awakens, but we don't know how old he's, he's going to be. And, of course, there's a lot of other factors that could come in. Um... I think this is honestly going to be a fantastic show, and if they expanded it a little more um, into not just 10 episodes, but 30 maybe, they wouldn't do 30, that would be a little too much, but a lot more episodes, I would love that. Um, I'm excited for season 2, <laughs> I mean, come on, I mean, season 1 was so good, they probably won't fuck it up right now, uh, especially with, I think it's already done, um, but with Jon Favreau being, again, the creator of it. Um, and also, fun Star Wars fact, hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. if you ever saw Clone Wars, you know the, com the Commander, Pri Vizsla, one of the Death Watch, who I hope do get a little more screen time in, because uh, I want more action figures of them, um, <laughs> but he was the Commander of the Death Watch in uh, the Clone Wars series, which was pretty cool, and then he gets decapitated by Darth Maul, um, maybe you ought to close your ears, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was... It was amazing. So honestly, I'm excited for this series. I hope we get to see a lot of cameos from other people. I mean, how we could get cameos from any number of talented actors. Uh, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Joey Fatone in it and Jeff Goldblum and Tom Hanks. Uh, I mean, honestly, The Mandalorian has such a big media buzz that I could see pretty big actors signing up to even be cameos in such... The, Mandalorian suits. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't do that? I would. You know, that could be a real nice thing, John Favreau. For anyone who donates more than, like, $20, you could be on the set of the Mandalorian and be a Mandalorian. I'm sorry giving you ideas. I just had to. Anyway. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I've been Ronimus2099. Of course, if any of these theories do come to be true... Uh, which I could see multiple numbers of this thing be true. Uh, I'm sorry, and I'll just I'll, I'll just zip my lips right now. Zip, they're they're zipped. They can't come open. Uh, I do have another theory, but I'm not gonna say that because that could be true. <laughs> um, of course, I'm just excited for season two. Season one was fantastic. There's definitely no way that they're gonna fuck it up super much. Um, I'm excited for all the new Star Wars stuff coming out. I am going to binge watch Clone Wars tonight. And doing that, I'm going to be filming Mandalorian uh, Episode 4, uh, which might be the last episode, only because I don't know where to take the story after this. I mean, right now I'm out, out on my own <laughs> for this story and these characters. So, honestly, I don't know what to do right now. But I will find out what to do, and then I will do it. Um... Anyway, I will see you in the next video where I do something pretty fun. We'll, we'll see what I do. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I don't know. Anyway, goodbye.